Today we're talking about the box office, and yep, Doctor Strange, as you read in the title, may not make a billion dollars. You have all these people saying that Doctor Strange, it was guaranteed, like Batman vs. Superman. I remember when people said, oh, Batman vs. Superman, that's an easy billion dollar gross. You have Batman fighting Superman. It's a fight of, you know, a quote, you know, it's a fight that, you know, everybody has been anticipating. Everyone has been anticipating Batman vs. Superman. Therefore, it's going to make money, okay? It seems that hype culture... You know, Marvel fanboys, Marvel, you know, worshippers, you know, who worship Marvel, okay? You know, like, that. you know, for some reason. And, you know, I, I, I find the funny there's these memes where, you know, you have these people, you know, making fun of, like, you know, atheists saying, oh, you, wa- you hate Christianity so much, but you, you know, and then, of course, they'll watch, you know, Marvel movies for a hundred times. That's just hilarious. I like that meme. That's funny. I'm not religious, but I find that meme funny. But Doctor Strange may not make a billion dollars. May not make a million dollar billion dollars, basically. And this article made by Forbes basically says this movie is performing very similar to Batman vs Superman. First, it's starting to compare it to the MCU movies. You know, join the 100 million dollars club in around 100 million, uh, 126 million dollars less. Then week one and weekend two. So, yep. And despite Sam and Mimi making the movie, this movie made around $6.8 million. It's again, they haven't really updated the international sales fully. But, yep, it says, yo, $6.8 million worldwide in 1.5 weeks. It has two weeks before Top Gun comes out. Okay, Top Gun is coming out. Okay, it's not like Batman. Well, you have a couple weeks of no, for a whole month. Of those major movies besides The Wall City coming out, okay? You know, between that and The Wall City. But if you've seen Batman versus, you know, Batman and Wall City, and of course, Wall City had like one week between that and Morbius. This. But this movie's performing like Morbius. This movie's performing like, you know, Batman versus Superman, Dark Phoenix. Okay, not as bad, okay. Not as bad as Dark Phoenix and Morbius, but as bad. It's performing like Batman versus Superman, okay? Batman versus Superman did a biz movie at the box office, okay? We all know it did. It only be out the original Doctor Strange's box office, but this movie is gonna open. It get end of around six hundred. If you do continue to pull this domestic overseas split and continue to have these drop offs, it's gonna have a similar worldwide box office to Batman vs Superman. Yep, it's gonna be an, it's gonna be the Batman vs Superman of twenty twenty two. Okay, Batman vs Superman. Everybody was saying this movie's gonna make a billion dollars. It was gonna make a billion dollars. It was guaranteed. Opening weekend, billion dollars, billion dollars, billion dollars. And what did we get? This was the gross of Batman vs. Superman. This was the gross of Batman vs. Superman. Okay. And once other movies started to come out, like Civil War, okay. As well, once movies like Civil War started to come out, once movies, you know, like Captain America Civil War came out and stuff. Okay. And, you know, yeah, this movie, we're going to talk about the other movies coming, other movies, but we go back to 2016. Okay, now Batman vs. Superman released. Okay, people were saying that Batman vs. Superman, easy billion dollars. Same thing as Justice League. They were saying Justice League was going to make a billion dollars if it was a good or bad movie. But, you know. But Batman vs. Superman released. Okay. Honor, this is was the opening of Batman vs. Superman. Okay. They were saying, oh, billion dollars. They were also bat- by big back week back in the which no one watched, but yeah. But it's rough with a 69% drop. Okay. The next weekend. If and again, Batman vs. Superman had no movies competing with it either. Okay. No movies. Okay, you had the boss movies. Okay. And you had God's Not Dead 2. Which is the equivalent to a movie like Firestarter. Okay. Nothing. Literally, because no, everyone was scared of competing with Batman vs. Superman. Everyone was scared. Okay, you had Hardcore Henry and the Boss, Louise. Okay. But the Boss actually beat Batman vs. Superman. So you might be living in a world where Downtown Abbey 2 beats out Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness. If it continues to perform, like, you know, the way it does. Okay. And the other between Batman vs. Superman and Mar- Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness is... Batman vs. Superman overperformed Multiverse of Madness internationally. It did better than it. But if it continues doing the same amount of money, okay, having these 60 to 70% drops, okay, 54% drop, that would mean, you know, half of the box office, so around, you know, 
55 percent drop would be around like 26 25 million dollars it might still top the number one movie and then you know next weekend you know the jungle book released which that actually did really well at the box office and then we had a barbershop movie yep and then we never got one again which was a good thing because nobody watches those movies basically you know we had the huntsman sequel which no one watched uh jungle book topped it again and then Captain America Civil War came out and then Batman vs. Superman was basically virtually non-existent in the theaters, okay? And the difference between this is Doctor Strange, you know, is, you know, competing with Top Gun in two weeks, okay? Doctor Strange is competing with Doctor Strange in a couple weeks, okay? This means... It's doing it. It's not going to do too well. Okay. Marvel fanboys are going to say, oh, it still made money. Yeah, it still made money. Okay. It still made money. Okay. But the movie didn't really do. It's not really doing. It's basically doing Batman vs. Superman, which would be a wake up for Mar Disney and Marvel. Okay. Making your movies woke. Forcing you to watch Disney Plus shows in order to understand Marvel. Okay. Forcing you to subscribe to a streaming service. Okay. To. Understand Doctor Strange's multiverse of madness. Telling you, you have to watch WandaVision. What if? All these fucking TV shows that, you know, not everybody has time to watch. Okay? That's, uh, that's another reason why. Okay? People who don't watch these TV shows, okay, like me, are not going to understand anything with Doctor Strange's multiverse of madness. They're not going to understand it because, you you, you, you know, people, the, the critics are saying, but you have to watch WandaVision. You have to watch What If, okay? What if you don't want to watch What If? Then you won't understand the movie because you don't want to have to subscribe to Disney+. Plus. Well, too bad. You have to subscribe to Disney+, Plus or else, okay? That's how, that's how modern Disney works, okay? You have, to, you have to subscribe to our service or else, okay? And this, the box office of Doctor Strange is clearly telling that Disney+, Plus. People don't care about it. Okay, people don't care about it. Of course, Disney Plus did better. This, you know, outperformed quote unquote expectations, which I think the expectations were really well, you know, probably because it's doing better in other countries that are not, you know, like India. But, you know, again, Doctor Strange isn't really doing too well. Okay, the movie isn't really doing too well. Okay, compared to other movies. Yeah, easily set. The top the box office because there's no movie, there's no real competition. But even with no real competition, even with nothing, no companies trying to compete with Disney, okay, trying to compete with the big bad Disney, it's still not working, okay. They can't perform a Lion King 2016 box office, no, not 2016, 2019 box office anymore, okay. They can't compete, they can't do that anymore. They can't have a Toy Story, you know, Lion King. And Spider-Man dominates the box office for a month. Okay, and that's the only movie people watch. Those days are over. And the nostalgia can't save Disney anymore. Okay, people are furious at Disney. People are furious at Disney over the, stuff, over the political stuff, getting to politics, okay, for, forcing wokeness in the movies. And Netflix is saying, I give up on wokeness. I give up. We're still going to put it out, but if no one watches it, then we're not going to make more of it. Okay, basically, okay, but yeah, what's done with Doctor Strange? Okay, the bad guys, yep, doing extremely well at the box office. Okay, made one hundred sixty-five million dollars worldwide, and made ninety-nine million dollars internationally. So this movie's doing really well for a lower, for a non friend for yeah. I get it's based off a book, but for a movie that isn't really based. Though it's for a new IP, for a new franchise, it's doing really well. Okay, for a, for a, you know, being something new, being something different. Okay, it's doing really, really well. And that's what I said. I made a video about this. Animation continues to push all these new ideas, these new things. And that's why I like animation a lot. Okay, I know people say, but it's for kids. I don't fucking give a say if it's for kids or not. Okay, I don't fucking give a crap. Okay, if a movie has a good story, if a movie is unique and original. Okay. It could be good. So, okay, so that was made by Pixar. Was a really good movie. Okay, 
Onward was very, was a very unique movie. Okay, I don't think that's okay. The closest movie to Onward would be Shrek. Okay, but Onward was completely unique and original. Okay, completely unique and original. Okay, the movie that could that is closest to it would be a movie like Shrek because it's based on fairy tales. Okay, but Onward was completely unique and original. Okay, Luca, eh, it was okay. It was all right. Okay. Tell me where that movie is complete trash. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna defend that movie. That movie's complete garbage. But the bad guys. Looking at the trailers, the scene based of the trailers alone is a completely unique and original movie. It's very, very similar to movies like The Suicide Squad, okay? But without but of course without all the blood and gore and of course for younger audiences. So people who are unable to watch the Suicide Squad because the parents will let them. Well, this is the this is the this is the their alternative. I think, you know, people are going to this is gonna become a of course a classic of animated movies. I think this movie will become a classic, despite you know not really doing too well. You know, once it gets onto the home video streaming, you know, digital Blu-ray DVD. I think DVDs are on the way out. I think you know we all know that one, but not Blu-rays. You know, but DVDs as well. You know, DVDs are so old, ancient. Okay, most people who buy Blu-rays either buy Blu-rays or 4Ks, okay? There are some there are people who... I think the reason why DVDs still exist because people still... People who still buy DVDs, okay? There are people who still buy DVDs, okay? You know, I sometimes still buy DVDs because, you know, as well. But I think they're really trying to replace DVDs with digital codes, okay? Because, hey, you can just watch it on your phone. You don't have to use a DVD. And... For a while, most movies did come up with DVD. Most movies, except for Disney, because Disney, you know, was a terrible. Disney just, you know, wants to make the movies, you know, you know. Oh, but if it's not a kids' movie, quote unquote, therefore doesn't get the treatment. That's basically how Disney has been treating the Blu-ray releases, basically. And the bad guys is doing really, really well. This movie might pass two hundred million dollars worldwide, and this movie with Sonic Two, until White Year comes out, is gonna fill a void of family movies. Okay. And I think Sonic 2, the ratings might start to improve with that movie. Okay, because people really like Sonic 2. People really like that movie. Okay. Bad guys. People really like the bad guys. Okay. People really like this movie. Okay. And this is actually like the only animated movie that's coming out this year that I actually want to see. <laughs> that's just funny. This is the only animated movie I want to see. Next year we have Spider-Verse 2 and Mario. Okay, and Mario, I'm skeptical of that one, because that might be a musical, okay? And, again, someone told me that Mario Odyssey has, you know, music tracks in it. Again, I only, I didn't really play much of Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey was a pretty fun game, but I didn't really play much of it. I should really play the rest of it, but, yeah, Mario Odyssey, I think, was a pretty good game. But, again, Mario is not really known, okay, for vocal tracks. Mario isn't really known for that. Mario is known for fighting Bowser, you know, battle... Bowser, you know, platforming, you know, stuff like that. Mario's not known for music. Okay, if it's gonna, if it's gonna be something like Mario Odyssey, I can understand that if they're trying to make get aspects from Mario Odyssey, but just turning it into a full blown Disney musical, I don't think would make a Mario good Mario movie. Okay, I'm just sorry. Okay, I'm just sorry. Okay. Next we have Sonic Two, which again had a small drop off for this weekend, and I don't think I it's. Doing okay wigs wise. It's not it's not in the bottom wings. Wigs wise. But Sonic 2, again, might have good wigs for the next couple of weeks. Because of it's, you know. Yeah, but again, Sonic 2 is basically performing like your typical sequel usually performs as well. Well, and it isn't performing as well wigs wise as the first movie, but it still beat the first movie worldwide. So yep. Sonic 2 still is making money. And it has made a decent chunk of money and it only greenlit a third movie. And yep. Next, we have another failure. Firestarter. It's a duet it's a duet it's a street and you don't know why. Yep, of course. Streaming always ruins everything. Yep. This is based off a Stephen King book. Yeah, oh, you know, it's okay. You know, it's based off a Stephen King book, and of course, it's a day to day. I thought we were done this with day to day streaming. Okay, I thought we were done with day to day streaming. Uh, but first, I technically counted the franchise movie since it's based off a Stephen King book. Okay, 
And Stephen King is a very, very popular author. So that means this is one of the bigger franchise flops of the year. But we can't really call it a flop because we don't know the streaming numbers for this movie. This movie might not be doing too well because people would rather go watch this movie on streaming. Okay? I think streaming is the main reason why Black Widow didn't make money in the theaters. Okay? Not wokeness, not, you know, bullcrap, not bullshit. Okay? But we all know the real corporate was Disney+. Plus. Okay? That was the real corporate. I think Black Widow made like $500 million in the theaters worldwide. If it wasn't for Disney Plus, okay? Because it made that much money on Disney Plus, okay? Including Disney Plus sales. Which, of course, the a certain YouTuber but ignores the full picture, okay? But when I talk about movies successfully, I look at the full picture, okay? If a movie is released on a streaming service, it might make money through the streaming service. Like The Boss Baby, Family Business, uh, Black Widow is another one. And Cruella as well. Because Cruella also released on Disney Plus as well. Okay. And all the movies that were released through on HBO Max and feeders. Like Dune. Uh, Tom and Jerry. Godzilla. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Just to name a few. Okay. As well. So yeah. Everything everywhere all at once. For some reason. I think it's because it's people like this movie. People like this movie. So this movie is having extremely good rigs at the box office. Okay. This movie is having extremely good rigs. Okay. For people who don't really like Dr. Strange that much. People are going to be watching this movie. And I think this movie will continue doing really well at the box office. But this is a this is a surprise. This is a super hit. I think this movie is a super hit. Okay. This movie is a super hit. Okay. Yeah. This movie is a super hit. I think it is. Okay, this movie is really, it's, it's doing, and before Dr. Strange came out, this movie really topped the box office for a day, okay? This movie is a genuine sweeper hit, okay? So yeah, this movie is doing really well at the box office, it's a genuine sweeper hit. Fantastic Beast Crimes, see, no, no, Secrets of Dumbledore, again, we're not even past $4 million. <laughs> it's not even gonna pass, it's gonna be a box office, it's not even gonna pass $4 million worldwide, Okay. Doctor Strange is doing his money. Okay, Downtown Abbey's coming out. And of course, you know, this movie, that no one cares about this movie, okay? Not even past $100 million domestically. That's pathetic for the Harry Potter franchise as a whole. Okay, pathetic. Okay, The Wall City. Okay, this movie might actually pass $100 million domestically. Unlike, you know, <laughs> unlike, you know, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Dumbledore. Okay, oh, not Crimes of Dumbledore, Secrets of Dumbledore. Okay, Actually, the real this movie called The Crimes of Dumbledore because this because that movie is a crime of existence. Okay, but this movie might actually top a hundred million dollars at the domestic box office, which would be very, very, very successful movie. It it is doing really well at the digital box office, and now it also has a release on streaming, so it might do really well there. And and you know, this movie might not get a sequel, but might it is still doing really well as well. Ninety-seven million dollars worldwide, so ninety-seven million dollars as well. Next is the Northman. The Northman again is a box office failure, sadly. Okay, again, it might do well on streaming, you know, as well. This movie is a niche movie. People have been telling me this is a more niche movie. Yep, not really doing too well. It's the same, but this movie might might. I think this movie is gonna become like you know, Fight Club. Okay, this movie through whole media. Okay, streaming TV. I forgot TV. Streaming, TV, uh, digital, DVD, Blu-ray. It's going to be like Fight Club, okay? And Blade One. It's gonna be one. I think it's going to be one of those movies, okay? Everybody, everybody who's seen this movie says it's a very good movie, okay? And another movie that came out in 2019 has a very, you know, the Arita, the Arita movie, you know, also has a really, you know, passing that call following. I think this movie might have a call following, okay? It's not gonna get a sequel, okay? But it's gonna do really, really well, like, over time, like Fight Club and Blade Runner. This movie's gonna be like Blade Runner, Fight Club, those movies. It's gonna gain a call following among it, okay? You know, as well. History nerds will, will have, love this movie, obviously. I think they're the ones who are going to see this in the theaters. But yep, the Northmen doing really, really. Not really doing... It's doing really badly at the feeders. But I think it's going to do really, really, really well. In the... You know, digital space. And as well. 
and the movie will become an underrated cult classic movie as well. So next is the Unbearable Way of Massive Talent again. You have these videos. Nicholas Cage is the god of acting. Nicholas Cage, but no one's watching this movie. They made a movie about him. This movie is really about him being himself, and no one's watching it. Okay, no one's watching it. Okay, this could really tell you that Nicholas Cage, you know, may not be as popular as people think. Okay, but all seriousness, okay, people who like Nicholas Cage, again, this movie came out on a weekend with other with, on a crowded weekend. I think that's why this movie isn't really doing too well. And also, it's not part of a franchise either, just like, you know, The Northmen, okay? You know, being that, you know, they're, and yeah, we haven't really have a major non franchise movie until, like, Elvis comes out, okay? And yep, that's basically about this video. Goodbye.